Welcome to Classic Car Cave, or welcome back to Classic Car Cave. Okay, so it's Sunday the, let me just check, it is Sunday the 13th and the car is going away on uh, Wednesday morning the 16th. So the car is all finished, it's got all the uh, primer paint on it, um, it will be finished in, off in Hungary by the chap that's doing the work, he's got a body specialist there that will, and they're quite experienced from my understanding, they've done quite a few XKs, um, coupes, roadsters and and uh, um, yeah, fixed heads, so they're, they're very familiar with the, with the XK150, as I explained what we're going to do with the plan, so the jig is in bits, that will go down on one trailer and we'll take out the, the, the car on my trailer down there. Uh, we just need to get a little vignette for their highways um, and we'll be staying down there. So, because um, it's Sunday, I want to get this video out now and um, by the end of next week, I'll have all the footage of us taking it down to Hungary, putting it on the trailer, taking it down to Hungary, taking it off, lifting it on the two-poster ramp, wheeling the chassis out, putting the jig back under and uh, wherever it is we're staying and then we'll come back with the trailer and hopefully in three or four weeks time, three weeks, whatever, they'll have painted the underbody, the inside, everywhere they need to paint. We'll go back down again, stay again overnight, put the, put the body back onto the chassis, hopefully for the last time, bolt it all down and then they'll finish the paint job. And then once they've painted it and left it for a little while, then they'll um, uh, go around and buff it as well. So when by the time we bring it back here, hopefully just before uh, June, It'll all be buffed and everything ready to go. So that's the plan. So, um, yeah, I hope you look forward to the one next week when we take it to this paint shop and see how it looks. Another update. So we're going to start taking these uh, front seats apart. As you can see, they're in a pretty sorry state. They're just completely delaminated. Some of these boards I'm going to have to re, re, remake or buy, I'm not sure. But obviously the frames uh, need to be sandblasted. What I'm going to do is actually take a photos as I do it, just to make sure we know how it goes back together. This is the base of the seat, which goes into a, uh, a steel um, outer, and it sits inside it. And this is the bottom of it. So that's metal, and then this is wood, this ply around it. But anything that's deteriorated, we can just uh, make. Um, I don't think that will come from the upholstery, but I'll find out. So I've got a nice bin liner here to shove all this crap in. I'll take this one apart and I'll show you what it looks like, or the pieces of it, when we get it apart. Now, it looks pretty basic, there isn't a lot in it. <coughs> but it's in a quite a disgusting state, so I'll bring you back when I've got it apart. I've got the uh, seat base apart and that's all there is in it. It's, there's this uh, wooden wedge section here. Which is still in good nick. The plywood's a bit knackered at the back, which so I'll have to make a new one or get a new one. And this pressed metal plate, that's really all there is to the base. And there's the foam, and there's the seat base. So that'll have to be sandblasted, the metal part. This is the, this is rotten, this is the back of the seat where it would go up against the tunnel. So that's got to be, we will find out where they can get that. And here's the original colour, that black that was on it. Must have been put on, this interior black must have been put, it was put over the top of the leather, What the leather wasn't taken off, it was just shoved over the top. And the original car from the heritage certificate was uh, Old English white or cream with red interior and you can see that, there's the red interior. This was still on it, so they didn't even bother taking this off. Not the original canvas in it, they just went straight over the top. So, and there's lots of, uh, nails spiral nails so this is what what was holding it together these like uh, these are like these furniture uh retainers where you knock them in with spikes on them but obviously they were they were uh, bolts through them and i had to cut them all off because it was just too difficult there's the there's some copper rivets there oh, i'll show you there, a couple of rivets and these nails have got spirals on them so what is the of the original Back upright. That's it. Frame that, that, that hinges forward, and the rest is plywood and a, a few bits of pieces. 
So obviously this has completely had it. That's the only two pieces of metal, that's a piece of aluminium for the side, bolster, and the metal frame, that's it, the rest is it's garbage. That's uh, yeah, quite messy. So, uh, what I'll do now is with the second one, I won't take the leather off because in case, I'll go and check now with Jonathan Skinner if you can go out and buy these uh, plywood sections and if not we'll have to be very careful with that one and take an actual copy of it of these two uh, so we get it exactly right so we'll find out that's it all fitted back on it's nice there you can see it's got a nice nice gap on the on the car and the same on this one nice gap on the back what I'm going to do now is just do a little bit on the, on the front and then paint it possibly over the weekend on Monday. We'll see what happens. Doesn't look very nice with the copper, but the chrome it looks great. Yeah. Um, he's painted all the car in primer, so it's ready to go. Uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, we'll put it onto the trailer and get it ready with all the parts in the back here. But uh, he's primed everything all around the windows. It's all looking good. Shut lines are nice. On the front, there's some finishing up work to do here and on the headlight pods. But it's kind of minor stuff, the majority of it's done. Just needs the old place where it's. You can see the shut lines are really nice on it. So, yeah. So I've left a bonnet in aluminium because uh, they have to do have to work on these here where there's like there's extra pieces put in. And there's the odd piece, bit and pieces and he's doing. So uh, massive uh, clean up, get all the mats off the floor, and then we've got a polishing machine now in the corner. So next trip or whenever we'll get that out, that's it there. Or carker. I'll just polish the whole thing. We'll take everything out, polish the whole lot. So because this will be away for two, two and a bit months, and uh, all the stuff we don't need, like English wheel and lathe and guillotine, we'll take down. But they're so heavy items. Anyway, so there we are. Ready to go on the trailer. So that's the jig ready to go. Oh, it's going to go on another trailer. Uh, and then this is the internal strengthening jig for the uh, the XK150. That's got to go back inside it. It's all the parts. I need to take the back seats out of the van. So that internal frame goes in here. The crutch supports across here. And that's what it looks like with a hood on it. This sits really good once the grill's in there. It's just that it's flimsy without the grill, you can see. So the grill pulls it all into shape, make it look real nice. Oh, getting nice in there. As usual, stay so, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby. We'll catch you in Hungary on the next one.